mentioning was trust. Yes. What does trust mean for your business? Well, I, I have tried to build a business based on trust, that uh, I'm in the insurance business and you have a claim with us, you will be treated fairly and properly and taken care of. And um, I think in the art market, when you go into a dealer, whether you'll be a customer or a client, I've only today learned the difference between customers who are, the art dealer feels he's acting as an intermediary, can, can sell really high and buy really low, or a client where he's giving advice. I just think anybody who goes to any part of the art market should trust that he is going to be treated fairly. And we have in insurance this treating customers fairly is now enshrined in regulation. So we have to treat everybody in a certain way. I think it should better come from within, shouldn't it? I mean, in my business, I did it from within. It's our culture. The art market should have as its culture not to gouge or to buy too low and sell too high, but to be fair. So uh, uh, symposiums like this and talks like this are incredibly useful for airing all those, um, those thoughts and desires for improvement. You're, you collect yourself, isn't it? I do, yes. You collect for your company and you collect for yourself. What is the difference? Uh, when I was young, the company was rich and I was poor, so I could buy good art for the company. Uh, now I would say the company has to be very careful what it spends because it's a public company, so it buys contemporary art, a reasonable. But every office needs a picture on the wall, and my job is to find pictures and some sculpture for 37 offices. What a wonderful job! Uh, personally, I buy uh, all. I've always been buying, and I find it the one, most wonderful hobby in the world. Because wherever I go, you know, I, there's something to look at, something to find, and I, I'm very unfocused. I buy tribal art, ancient artifacts, contemporary art, design. I can't, I can't sit still, but it's just a wonderful hobby. You continue to buy and collect. Searching for interesting things is. I think 60% of my life, yes. <laughs> what upon your expertise is the, uh, the main challenge of the insurance industry of art in the following, year, following years? Well, uh, the competition is intense. Art insurance is incredibly cheap. People always come in new and think they uh, are going to compete with the established, but uh, I would only preach, you know, an established insurer who has been in the market for over 50 years, knows all the pitfalls and perils, is better than um, some new man who's trying to make his mark. But uh, the, real, the real fear is that one day a jumbo jet or something is going to crash into a, a Van Gogh exhibition and you could have a 5 billion, 10 billion, 20 billion loss. And we can't, you know, that's not factored in. We're not making enough profit to pay for the really big one which hasn't yet really happened, but it could happen one day. So keep insuring. <laughs>